in this session let us try to understand the different phases of machine analysis okay in the sense machine already we discussed that in indirect way we are trying to find out the performance characteristics so in order to find any performance characteristics in, in, in an indirect way we should understand the machine now what are the different phases of machine analysis if you see first is going to be ideal machine analysis in the sense first a machine is considered as ideal what is meant by ideal machine means machine in its purest form okay basically one thing i have to tell you here in ideal machine many of the books and many faculties also say that like you know in ideal machine copper losses are neglected core losses are neglected or kind of other kind of losses will be neglected now my question here is who are you to neglect okay so like point here is who are you to neglect no it is not neglected but it is not considered okay so in ideal machine analysis all those losses are not considered because those losses will be considered at later point of time for example means in your network theory you might have understood about inductor okay so in your network theory means like you know in your network theory we have resistance inductance capacitance and mutual inductance in their purest form so in network theory directly we say that vl equal to l da by dt and it is going to be inductance now my question is is it possible to find pure inductance in the world no no so in network theory we are trying to analyze the purest form of inductance by not considering winding resistance and all for example if you think of a practical inductor practical inductor is modeled by using network theory parameters as resistance and inductance okay so means this is going to be ideal inductance which will be there in your network theory only but practically means practical inductor physically existing inductor will be modeled as pure inductance along with resistance okay so this resistance is going to be the practicality practicality similarly if you come to here i'm going to take a, a practical machine in that practical machine by not considering the practicalities in its purest form i will consider ideal machine so in ideal machine analysis we are not going to consider any losses we are not going to consider any effects of non linearity so means ideal machine in the sense in its purest form and again let me repeat you here means here we are not neglecting the losses in ideal machine analysis but we are, we are going to consider at later point of time let me analyze in its purest form first so means this is going to be ideal machine analysis is going to be the phase 1 now in phase 2 modeling of practicalities are building equivalent circuit what is meant by that now my practical machine ideal machine is impossible to find so my practical machine will have the practicalities of losses practicalities of leakage practicalities of non linearity so in phase 2 we will try to model the practicalities now maybe if you think of maybe leakage if without leakage no machine exist but without leakage we are going to analyze in ideal machine because leakage will be modeled in terms of other parameters at later point of time okay so means once ideal machine is over we are going to model these practicalities it can be leakage it can be copper loss it can be non linearity it can be core loss or it can be anything to that extent so means once practicalities are modeled in the sense finding equivalent circuit finding equivalent circuit so my kind of like you know maybe leakage will be can be modeled in the name of inductance copper losses can be modeled in the name of resistance maybe core losses can be modeled in the name of resistance okay so once the modeling is over what is the third phase third phase means we should be able to find out parameter values of equivalent circuit means that means finding parameter values of equivalent circuit again by indirect loading test okay so basically we decided we should not go with direct loading test so in indirect way we have to find parameter values for example okay if i think of this practicality as representing copper loss in the sense that copper loss has been modeled in the name of resistance okay now this resistance will be, uh, means the copper loss should be modeled in the name of resistance is going to be phase 2 and how much is the value of that particular resistance value for example my practical machine is absorbing some x watts of power in the name of copper loss so for that x watts of power i should model the resistance 
Now, in an indirect way, in an indirect way, by testing, I should be able to find out the parameter values in the sense, how much is the resistance? Now, if you think of, if you come to here, if you come to here, so this is going to be purest form of inductance network theory. And this is going to be practical inductor, which is physically available. Now, once this, this has been, practical inductor has been modeled in the name of purest inductance and resistance. That is going to be phase two. In phase three, we have to find how much is the resistance value and how much is the inductance value is going to be phase three. Now, in phase four, in the sense, already you got the equivalent circuit. And with the equivalent circuit, you got the parameter values also. For example, this may be resistance, this may be inductance, this may be capacitance. And those, capa those particular parameter values also, you know, by indirect loading test. So, in phase 4, what you have to do? You have to apply performance analysis. Means that, now let us see from here to here. Okay. This is going to be ideal machine. That is going to be phase 1. And phase 2 is going to be, we are going to model with parameters. And phase 3 is going to be, we are going to find the parameter values. And now, if you apply from here to here, network theory. And if you apply from here to here, ideal machine analysis, what we have done in phase 1. And from here to here, if you apply network theory, means that from here to here, I can say practical machine is analyzed. In the sense, for a practical machine, for example, here power divided by here power will give you the efficiency. Okay. So, once, uh, what do you say, uh, phase 3 is over, we are going to analyze performance analysis. In performance analysis, for example, if I take this ideal machine, sorry, this machine, yes, transformer, means performance analysis means how voltage is going to be vary, voltage regulation. And means efficiency calculations will be the performance characteristic. So in the same way, for all the machines, we do the same. Okay. For all the machines, we are going to do the same. Basically, one thing I'll tell you. Okay. Means there is no difference between transformer, synchronous, induction, DC, something like that. So all are going to be connected with a single point. Now you will come to know gradually, gradually. First of all, the same procedure will be followed for all the machines.